Now, in the latest development in the Digital Vibe saga, the Daily Maverick has discovered that at least one million rand was spent by former health minister Zulim Kiza's associate, Tahira Mehta. Uh, let's bring in the author and investigative journalist, uh, Peter Louis Maybeck, who has been exposing how the funds from Digital Vibes were squandered by the associates of the former minister. Peter Louis, thank you once again for making time. Always a pleasure uh, chatting to you. So one million rand, how did she blow it? Yeah, hi, Clement. Um, it's quite a disturbing picture if you consider what the money should have been used for. So in a nutshell, um, you know, vast sums of money are comparatively small compared to the total contract value, but still for ordinary South Africans, you know, thousands and thousands of rands were spent on luxury clothing brands like Gucci, um, on very luxurious kitchen appliances, you know, those nice smeg ovens that, that we all would like to see in our kitchens. Um, and a whole range of other issues. I think most disturbingly probably is the fact that a good 200,000 Rand of this contract was directly siphoned away from the COVID-19 communications and spent in Turkey during the second wave of the pan pandemic in December last year. Um, and that would have been Tahira Martha's um, holiday in Turkey when she should have, uh, really have been in South Africa, mm -hmm. busy overseeing this vital COVID-19 communications work. Yeah, and this is taxpayers' money, right? And as you've indicated, this is money that was supposedly meant to be used for the so-called uh, COVID-19 communication. And this is not all the money, right, Peter Louis? Because 150 million rand was what the contract was worth, and this is just a little mm -hmm. bit of that. Yeah, Clement. Um, so some of your viewers might recall that you know this is an ongoing series of reporting for Daily Maverick Scorpio and. We've already kind of identified and followed a significant portion of the money as it was yeah. funneled away from the Digital Vibes account to a vast array of third-party accounts. It includes Tahira Martha's own accounts and those of her family, and also the likes of Zwilim Kize's um, mm. children, yeah. of course, also benefited from the co this contract. So this amount in our purview in today's um, installment really focuses on some of the remaining accounts um, accounts in the or funds in the digital vibes account uh, that should have been used to pay suppliers, contractors, and other people involved in co com communications work. And it really shows that even after they had siphoned off these large chunks of money from the contract, they still took some of it from the digital vibes account and spent it on all these frivolous and luxurious things like mm. the luxury clothing and so on. Yeah, uh, I just want to explain to our viewers that what you're seeing on your screens now, the former president. Uh, not former, but the current president, Cyril Ramaphosa, has arrived at the home of the late uh, Ju Johannesburg Mayor Jolie D. Matongo. The president um, is there to pay his respects as president of the ANC, but also on behalf of government. Uh, you are seeing visuals there of the president arriving. When he speaks uh, and he comes out, uh, we'll take you live to Lanasia, where our reporter Mangobam Kunu um, is. But Peter Louis. The, the special investigating unit through the legal proceedings at the special tribunal, they're trying to recover uh, these amounts of monies that, that were spent on these luxurious goods. Uh, are they going mm. to really get there, recover the money, and also money that was spent on other mm. indulgences? What progress are they making? Yeah, look, that process certainly is underway. Um, unfortunately, you know, I, I think significant portions of the money might never be recovered, but one would hope that at least and from a taxpayer's perspective, that at least, you know, some of the money spent on hopefully, you know, fixed assets and those funds that are still available in some of these accounts that they can be retrieved. But I think, um, you know, if one is realistic and looking at these kind of investigations, some of the money so simply would be lost. That is kind of how it normally plays out.